Welcome to Velf Creations. Today we will continue our F1 Ultra overview by covering the conveyor accessory. Let's get started. To get started, we will remove the F1 Ultra from the table to make enough room for the conveyor box. The conveyor comes packaged very nicely with foam padding, and on top, you can see the cable, a set of screws, and some attachment brackets. Removing the conveyor from the box, you will see that it is wrapped in plastic to keep it protected. Immediately, you can feel that the quality is amazing. It feels nice, sturdy, and solidly built. To ensure that the conveyor is properly aligned, we will secure it to the base of the Ultra with a set of brackets. We will start with the conveyor. The mounting point is below the X-Tool logo, so we need to flip it upside down. The bracket attaches using two screws and is also made out of metal. Next, we need to install the larger bracket onto the base of the Ultra. Once both brackets are installed, we can flip the conveyor system back over and attach it to the base of the Ultra. Next, the conveyor plugs into the right side of the Ultra and the other end of the cable is plugged into the back of the conveyor. There we have it. In just a few minutes, we have the Ultra set up with the conveyor system. Now, all we need to do is set the focus by raising the laser until the blue light and red light meet. Great! The very first project we are going to do is a set of business cards using batch engraving. We imported our logo and switched the processing type to conveyor batch. Our vector is in a few different parts, and this will cause an issue when we hit processing. The fix is simple. We just need to select the design and click Unite. Now, we will start by adding our business cards to our conveyor system. The alignment of the first one is the most important because that is what we are going to use to center our design. The rest are not as important, and XCS will handle orienting our design with those. Now we can click the Refresh button in XCS to get an updated view of our cards. We can position our design as best as we can, and we can also use framing to get the positioning just right. But for this demo, this will do. That looks good. Now, we can select our design and set up the settings. For business cards, we like to use the IR fiber laser, so we will switch the power to 100, speed to 3000 millimeters per second, and lines per centimeter to 300. The cool thing about having the conveyor system is that you do not have to use the batch fill option to apply the design to all your business cards. All you have to do is add one design and then hit process. During this process, the Ultra will use its camera to detect all the cards and automatically create duplicates of your design, rotate them, center, and position them onto each of the business cards. Now we can hit start. We will run this entire job start to finish in real time so you can see the speed of this system. We barely had enough time to get to the other side of the conveyor to start adding more cards and only got three in before it started moving again. It quickly detects the three new cards and continues the engraving. For this next batch, we made it a bit trickier by orienting all the cards in different directions. The Ultra did a great job. While this is engraving, you can see that for the final batch, we actually made a mistake and did not position the cards far enough to the left. This caused an issue where the camera of the Ultra could not see the edges of the cards, 
so the engravings were also too far left. A very easy fix for this would be to mark the frame of the conveyor with the proper width so you do not accidentally place anything outside the margin. You can see that with this card, the design is too far to the left because the camera could not see the edge of the card. Our mistake. For the next project, we will be doing this cutting board because in addition to batch engraving, you can also engrave longer pieces. We place the edge of the cutting board right under the focusing lasers. In XCS, we drew a rectangle with the same width as the cutting board. This will allow us to place the design in the center. Once the design is in place, we can delete the rectangle. Now on to the settings. This was our very first attempt at engraving bamboo with a conveyor system. We selected the design, set it to the blue light, power 100, speed of 700, which was our mistake, and lines per centimeter to 200. Then we started. For this engraving, we definitely set the speed a bit too low, so we will not show the entire engraving. The design itself ended up engraving great with a really deep, clean look. However, at a speed of 700 millimeters per second and such a large design, it ended up taking a little over one hour to engrave. Was this design narrow enough that we could have just done it with the Ultra? Probably, but we were really excited to test this out. For deeper engravings like this, we also like to scrub the board with some soap to give it a cleaner look. In the end, we still really like how this turned out. There is definitely a lot of potential with this conveyor system, and we are excited to create more projects with it. Thank you for watching. What else would you like us to cover? Let us know in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more with the Ultra and some 3D printing here and there.